Whiskey Gaming, and this is my late review of Twin Mirror. I played it on the Xbox Series X, it's also available on the PS4. So let's get into the story. You play as a man named Sam Higgs, who is returning to town because his best friend died. Sam is a journalist, he left the town because an article he wrote basically closed down the mine in the small mining town, so he's not exactly excited about going back. But once Sam gets to town, he runs into his friend's daughter, who basically asks him to start digging around because she doesn't believe that he died the way that it's claimed he died. And after a bit of poking around, things start to look a little strange. So what I will say is I really enjoy the story. I like the storytelling of this game. I like the mystery. That being said, I don't necessarily love Sam as a character at all times. He's very much torn between two places. This very cold intellectual individual as well as this imaginary friend basically who guides him on how to be, you know, a human being. The thing is, even when you're following that individual's advice, there are times where you're like, eh, Sam's still kind of a piece of shit. My other complaint with the story is that, and maybe it's just me, maybe nobody else saw this immediately, but I kind of figured out who the big bad was immediately. That being said, it's not like I hated the story. I actually think it was a pretty good story, and I think they did a great job with the characters, which, I mean, that is Don't Nod's strongest point. Don't Nod has this great knack for storytelling, and I think they tell a pretty good story here. Admittedly, it's a bit short. Now let's get into the audio, and I'm going to say right away, the voiceover work is well done. I think, for the most part, everyone does a very good job. I can't actually think of any point that I was super disappointed. There were a few where, eh, maybe it's the character, maybe it's just not the best delivery, but overall, I was never really taken out of the moment by it. I think the music fits very well in this game. I really think Don't Nod has a good knack for that as well, of making it match with the moment, with what's going on, and just fitting the overall game. Lastly, the sound effects. The sound effects are good, they're there, they're not like the key element. There are, are a few where I felt like they didn't necessarily fit perfectly, but not disappointed. Now let's get into the gameplay mechanics and whatnot, and this is once again very much an interactive narrative. And you could definitely see this in Don't Nod's last game, but more so in this game, that it is a third person over the shoulder game. But it is still very much, you go into an environment, you explore it, you talk to different people, you have the ability to have different responses. But they definitely went further with it, and the one thing that is truly unique in this game compared to the previous ones is Sam being like one of those uber genius types has his own mind palace. And in certain moments to investigate, you go into his mind palace and you piece together the events of what happened as well as you can find items where you'll go into his mind palace and relive these memories. It's a really cool element, and I like that they added it. But like I pointed out in the story, there are also times where your decisions can be helped by his imaginary friend who helps him act like a real human. And he really is an imaginary friend because clearly Sam as a character spent way too much time in his head because he is so different and weird and unique, but at the same time, he wants to be a real human. And I think the gameplay helps reflect that. Let's get into the controls, and I think the controls are actually really good in this game. I mean, it's more unique in that it is very, very, very much a third-person over-the-shoulder game for them. But everything was very responsive. I never had any problems with the camera. I didn't have any problems with the movement. I didn't have any problems with it reacting when I needed to. There really weren't a bunch of quick-time events, which is kind of what you expect from these games. Having such responsive controls... You know, it's important, but it doesn't matter as much as those games that are throwing button commands at you just out of nowhere. And lastly, the visuals. Twin Mirror is unique for Don't Nod, or at least recently, because all of their recent games have that comic book, watercolor, like, painting visual style, whereas this one goes for a more realistic look. Some things are exaggerated, but overall I would say they're definitely trying to look more realistic, which they don't really hit the hyper-realistic element. I will say that it's a good-looking game, like it's not terrible looking, but for a hyper-realistic game it's not quite there, but at the same time it really works for the game. I do think the facial animations are a little inconsistent simply in that the expressions are really good, but there are definitely times where the animations are out of sync. Characters will be talking longer than their dialogue will go along, or 
they'll stop talking while their dialogue is still going. So that's obviously always a little distracting when you see that. But I think the way they represent your different decisions, the way they show off his mind palace, like when he goes into his mind palace to figure things out, I think they do a really good job with that. So to wrap this up, I will say I enjoyed the story. It's far from my favorite from Don't Nod, but I do enjoy the gameplay. I enjoy the mystery elements. I really like what they did here, and I'd like to see them apply it to future games. But that being said, for the length of the game, I would say it's definitely worth playing, but maybe wait till it comes down in price a little bit. It is sadly a very short game, but if you're a huge fan of interactive narratives and Don't Nod, then yeah, go for it. Okay, so in the comments down below, what are you hoping to see from Don't Nod next? As always, thanks for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit that like button. And if you like what I'm doing in general, share and subscribe. Have a good one.